my entire game and give me more control than the okay. caller ever would. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to work on a sweep single, basic jiu-jitsu, and we're going to build off of it. So I'm on the caller. We're here. We're hand fighting to this side. I'm going to sidestep, and then I'm going to post. One, two, post. And it gives me the top of the shoulder, whether he has a post or not. Here, I snag the top of the shoulder. Side step, right to the top. Head stays up, and then we end up in our leg lace here with the arm. Let's give it a shot for just a couple minutes. The rule of thumb is the person with the higher head position always wins the scramble. So, Max, where'd you go? So, the problem with the collar in this situation is when I come here, if he posts, sit up tall, there you go, his head's gonna be higher than mine. But once I grab his shoulder and I bring it down, my head is higher than his. So when I get up and he gets up, I'm gonna be on top. Now I can drive to finish that takedown. So that's my real goal, is to fall with my body weight, not my hands. So once I'm here and I come wide, I snap that way. See how he wants to step with that foot? And then I drive through him, just like a runner start. So I'm going one and through my opponent. Not, never on top of me. One, in, and we move diagonally. Yeah? Let's try again. Flex your biceps. So that when you're flexed in this position, when I go down, he goes down. Not I flex, and then this happens. So when I make this step, I curl, this stays strong, and then I lower my level. So he moves out. You're kind of like, Getting stuck here. Yeah, keep that tension and don't let any of this move. It's like an isometric strain. So that once we're here, it's one, and I stay this low, and then I'm driving in and switching my face to block the leg. Yeah? So. A lot of times what happens when you're in the club and you start hitting somebody with the move, they're gonna purposely do something they don't normally do just to break the situation so you stop getting it, right? So what happens is when I grab this shoulder, guys know I'm looking for this leg. So he tends to put it back and we end up here. Even if he's on the collar, I'm okay with that, okay? Once I'm here, I'm gonna punch with my palm. Like that, not with my fingers. Roll your palm up and press it. See how he moved? Like that. That leg moved. So when I'm here, I'm gonna step back and punch. So I get this elevation and then drive forward. Looking just for that leg, okay? So when we're here, I snag it. Oh, switch your base, there we go. When I'm here, I'm reaching for it. We're hand fighting, he's changing the stance. Down, back. But the down doesn't come from me pulling. The down comes from me coming back oh, on my okay. back leg. Not dropping my knee where it is, but taking a small step back. So you're pushing and dropping back. And see, it moved a little. So here, so it's just like the other one, you're creating some space. Yeah. Yeah. you drop on your, I'm used to dropping like this, but you drop. Yeah, because you can't stand up with that one. Because if, if you're holding this shoulder, my leg's forward. Nope, shoulder. Okay, and then you drop on that leg. Like, you have, you have nothing. If you drop on your back leg, see, I can't get to him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So don't do a wrestling. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's not a wrestling. It's not a shot. It's, yeah. it's, I'm backing out of you, putting weight on your leg so I can reach it. Okay. It's not a shot from here. It's a shot from full extension. Because when he moves his leg, yeah, same concept. So when I'm here and he moves his leg, like now when I come back up, I'm, I'm going right for it. So elbow not inside. Don't grab the knee. Because if you cross reach on my knee, go ahead. Yeah and you're like that, I can sprawl on you in front headlock. If you grab my ankle, 
like that, I can't, I can't take it out. That's when I start hopping, okay. and then you finish your shot. A lot more leverage. Yeah. So, Thank you. now we can team up all of our shots together, okay? Doesn't really matter the order, because they're working both the left leg and the right leg. So, I'm holding on to the back of my collar, I'm looking for his leg, he moves it back, he moves it back again, he clears the leg, I'm looking for that same shot, yeah? That's the pair for that. It happens a lot okay. of times what when we're in this position, put your leg forward, and I go to drop and he moves back, this hand is vulnerable. So I come up and I take it. Once I take it, I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna shuck everything through the open space. Now I put it on the floor and I staple it with my hand, okay? It doesn't move. When we're here, put your other foot forward. I look for it and I two on one that grip, okay? We start spinning and we're looking for whatever we want, okay? Yeah? Go. No, no, one hand, one hand. So when he's holding on to this, it's irrelevant. When I drop, I'm chucking. And as I'm, as I'm turning everything against him, I'm coming up. Yeah. I take it off. When he's, watch, when he's holding on, I'm, not, I'm never on the collar, shoulder. So I'm holding his shoulder. He moves back right here. Everything goes to that big open space. And then we cover. Yeah, it's that angle. Didn't feel strength. No, it's it's that it's this turn through the open. Can you let me feel it? Yeah. So when I'm here, I drop, I move, and see all that open space. So you just pull Yeah, I. You see, everything is in line, and it moves together. You're 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 getting in the way of yourself. When you're here, you're holding your hands here, and you're trying to yank it. Come from the bottom mm. and twist him bottom twist. through. Because when you pull, you're, it's only as strong as your grip. Cup your wrist around his hand. So grab it with everything you got. Yeah. Cup it and pull. See, now his, now his wrist is bent. That makes his grip weak. So when I'm down here, I can use this elbow against his arm, and I can throw it. Coming towards you. Try to throw him away from you. So when he's holding on to you, you're kind of bringing him into you here. Try to throw him more sideways. And then close the space. Yeah, like away from you. That's what'll take the grip off. Was that part of the Yeah, see, you stepped forward. Right. I want more of a step out. See, I don't go past my other foot. Six to nine. So if he's 12, yeah, yeah, six, yeah, nine. And then I fall to three. And then he fills the space. Absolutely. Yeah? That's my first favorite grip, is right on the shoulder. I feel like it's the safest. I can stop his doubles, his singles. It's hard for him to break the grip, and it gives me a lot of control just to bring him down to the floor. Catch right? grip I always look for, apart from like the end of the sleeve, is my cross grip, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna work on a kouchi to an ankle pick, okay? And the way we do that is, stand up for me, I grab high on the collar. I don't take these wussy grips. No, we man up and we grab the gi where we can use it, okay? And I use my wrist. Okay, to the back of his face. Here, back of his head. That puts his weight on this leg and it lets me pick up his ankle. And now I, I soccer kick the shin and I throw him. We just man up and we kick. I don't care about technique at that point. The big thing is, is when we're here, it's a step wide and opening in the other direction. You can kick this way, you can kick that way. You can sit, okay? It just depends on what you want, okay? Don't really care at that point. It's all about getting to that ankle. So I set my cross grip, and up, okay? And we're just placing him down on the floor, yeah? Let's go. 
Ah, 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 wrong direction, wrong direction. Never here, never under the chin. Move him, move him. Nice, yeah. No, because he doesn't have one. Show me one with my hand up here. I'm taking an adult size grip and moving your head. I'm not I'm not I'm not down here. Yeah, not here. No, I'm I'm taking a big boy grip. Yeah, like so if I try to get to your wrist, like it's you should be able to just slide it past my shoulder. He tries to attack my wrist, I just push my hand over his shoulder. And then once he brings this hand up, it should be easy to get to his back. Awesome. Yeah? Because everyone should just yeah, see that situation, yeah. Can I, can I use you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Don't worry about your belt. Don't even care. So he asked a good question. He said, when I cross grip him, what happens when this guy grabs my gi? Because I can't get to that leg. Right? Like, what if he just takes the grip? Okay? So a little bit of grip fighting for you guys, right? Everyone knows what a C-grip is, right? C-grip. Makes sense, right? So when he takes this, I'm going to punch my shoulder back. See how it tightens up on the gi? I straighten his arm and I get my C-grip. Once I do that, I have his back. Yeah, because once I'm here, I pin it to my shoulder and then I step up. And I go the other way, okay? So if I take my cross grip and he comes here, punch him in the throat like you're drawing a bow, come in, and then boom, you're right on the back. All you have to do is block his lead legs. So when I'm here, it's back to that same falling thing where when I roll to here, I pick my foot up and I pull at it. That way he blocks and I can sit here on his back. Yeah? Is that following for that question? So every time he brings his hand up, lean back and pass it right over. Just look for it. Yeah? This helps. Pulling up. Don't pull down. I want to make this distance as big as possible. A lot of guys try to pass it and come down and this ends up here. And you're like this and he ends up circling away. I want to pull everything up and then bring everything down when I spin to the back, yeah? Let's give it a shot real quick. No, no, you can do it from here. Can I borrow you? Yes. Grab my key. So he has a solid grip. I put my shoulder on his wrist and I take it off. Not up. Okay. When I'm here, yeah. it's behind. And then I, when, I, when I stand back up, I should be on his back. I don't want to throw it. I don't want to throw it this way and then have to go chase him. I want to guide it so that look, now when I stand up, I'm on his back. Yeah. So here, and up. So, and now pin your shoulder to it, yeah. and now I'm gonna guide your hand. Grab his wrist, and then punch yourself in the ear. Turn, 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 boom. There's his back. And it's a, it's a backward lean, so what a lot of guys are doing right now is they're here, and they're trying to roll over. You have to keep him where he's at, and lean. No, hold on to it, hold on to it, don't, yeah, give it a lean. Because now I'm stressing his grip. Now I'm taking it off. And look, he came forward, naturally. And now I have his back. Yeah, so when I'm in this position, and I'm here, when I'm ready to break, I, I push off this leg. See how this one comes up? And then I can fall on his back. Standing me out. There you go. Better. It's not from a double cross grip. When he's holding cross grip, this break doesn't work. It's only when he's holding this collar. Oh, okay. Yeah, because see, now I can roll your hand out. Yes, sir. When you're holding this one, hold on to it with a lot of force. Like when I roll it, like see, the gi moves off. Yeah, yeah I don't have the same leverage. Okay, yes, sir. Gonna put us in the same spot we just were, but some of us got a little confused, right? So I cross grip him, and then he cross grips me. This break no longer works because the gi jacket opens up. I don't have the same force because it doesn't get stuck. I can't push against it, yeah? So when he sets his cross grip, we gotta look for something else, okay? And it's gonna be a two-part step. One is getting his hand above my shoulder. Two 
is lacing his elbow, okay? It's important that the hand goes all the way over, not here. I have to commit, okay? Once it's up, it's a solid turn in front, and I turn my hips, and I crank his elbow. And then it's a standard wrestling chuck down or a sumi, depending on what you want, okay? Have your partner hold on to the gi for real, okay? It's okay. We're gonna be here, okay? I'm gonna pop it up and step in. Okay, I put it up there. I bring his elbow down, big step in, and I pressure his elbow, okay? If he stands, I bring two feet in, and I look for Sumi. If I'm confident with the back and he's down, I pull forward, take my leg out, and replace it. Yeah, and I set the seatbelt, and I look for what I want. So I set a cross grip, he sets a cross grip. Pop it up. Oh, you gotta hold on to it. Give it everything you got. Yeah, I'm getting excited. Okay, so we're here. I pop it up. And now it's a turn. And then I look for it. Yeah? You'll get a lot of pressure on the elbow here, right here. This is pressure. Hold the lat, shoulders wide, hip in. Bring him down to the floor. Yeah? Let's go. Here, cross grip. I'm gonna step in, pop his arm over, switch my grip, big pivot, here. I can either step in, sue me if he's pulling up, or I can chuck forward, take my leg out, and then jump on the back. Thanks. The better solution for me, just for my game, like Uchimata, like if he, if he jumps in, and I end up in close guard. Like I would just, and then I'm, I'm knee cutting my way through. And if he sprawls one leg back, I can just take the back. He's holding on, and I get to here, it's in. And now look, I fill this space. Now I can crank on his shoulder. Yeah, we didn't come here to be nice to each other. Bring it in. So, it's a pop up, and then a chop in. Turn that corner. Go back. I'm not trying to pull his arm by. I'm trying to pull it into this pocket. Into the pocket. Okay. That way I can fill this space. Now I can open up against his arm. Keep this arm bent at that 90 here. Not straight out. This does me no good. He can throw me back if he's strong enough. Yeah. So you're here. I pop up. I'm down. And then I pressure your shoulder. And I just start. And there's my back. Okay, got it, thank you. Nice and in, bring it in tight, bring it in tight. Now fill this space. Boom, but not the belt. Yeah, reach around his back. There you go, now bring him to the floor, bring him to the floor. Beautiful. I like it, but don't let the arm slip out. So, when we're here and we're popping and I come here, bring it in. Because now I can pressure. Don't let that arm, don't let that arm come out like that. Because now it's a 50-50. Yeah. You know what and I mean? I don't want to chase him. You got the hips so you can feel the pressure. So here, up, in, and now I start pulling. And I just start leaning heavy on your shoulder. Yeah. Not nice about it. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, into a situation where it was 50-50, right? So when I get to here, I don't want to be like this. Because what happens if she sits the guard? She's going to collar drag me. I need to put something in front of her. Now I can pressure that shoulder. Not here, like that where she collar drags. She can switch her hips real fast. Just pull that way. No, other way. Just pull that way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I got to create that reaction myself. Yeah, so when you're here and you go here, in front so you go straight in front. and bring it right in and chop her down so same grip as before when we're here give me a lot of resistance here when I go like this and I can't get it it's one at the same time two it's not hang out for a second and then go when I'm ready I turn that corner. Oh, 
step in front. So here, up, here, in front. That way he doesn't circle on you. And then when I shuck him forward, now I can look for what I want. Yeah? He's at a 90. You don't want him to let go of this one? No? If he holds on to that, I break his shoulder. Yes. Yeah, why would I want him to let go? No, but he's going to let go. No, because I'm holding him to yeah, my I chest. I'm pitching him. Even if he lets go of that, I'm still here. I'm not letting this come up to You're not here. Using any grip, just yeah, I'm just clamping it down to my chest because I'm holding. Go ahead and hold on. I'm holding him, and when I make that turn, I pinch to me. Yeah, and then it's just like a cup, a cup over the top. Yeah. Now his arm is straight. Yeah. You want it bent okay. in front of you. Oh, that's the difference. You straight doesn't do you any good because he rolls his thumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. When I'm here and he's holding up nice and tall, I bring it past my body. And then, and now it, I pin it to my chest on his shoulder. Yeah, and I keep everything in tight so that I can open up against it. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now step in front, step in front. No, just cup your wrist over the top, pin your elbow to your body. There you go. We're not here for that. Yeah. Have you thrown Uchimata in Jiu-Jitsu at all? No. I learned that shit today. I threw it three fucking times and lost scrambles. Because I had no undergrip. No undergrip. Stupid shit. Say that again? I threw Uchimata and then lost the scramble because I didn't have an undergrip or anything. I just started falling around my back. You're going to score two points every time now. Overgrip. I do overgrip. That's why I'm going to tell you right now. Okay. So he undergrips. I overgrip. Don't care. Grab the back. I don't care. What I'm going to do is I'm going to half step. Looking for that Uchimata, right? Yeah. I'm going to take his leg out. One, two. All right. don't even, I don't even need that grip. Once he comes around my waist, one, two. Up, chop, ankle. Right. And knee cut right through his guard. Or back step, depending on what you want to do. All right. Yeah?